What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison we have the latest phone from Xiaomi, the Redmi Note 10 Pro and then we have the highly popular iPhone 12. Now don't misunderstand the purpose of this camera comparison, the main purpose of this video is to show you what the cameras on a budget friendly device like the Redmi Note 10 Pro can do and compare to the cameras on a flagship like the iPhone 12. Keep in mind that the iPhone 12 is also much more expensive than the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So you have to take that um, into consideration. Alright, just before we begin, make sure that you press that like button and let's start by checking out some daytime pictures. Okay, so we are starting with some pictures that I took with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices. And the first thing I've noticed here is the fact that the iPhone has the somewhat wider field of view. So you can see a bit more in those pictures taken by the iPhone. For picture sharpness, I can't really tell the difference in between the two. As for dynamic range, it seems that that's better in the pictures taken by the iPhone 12, at least in some of those um, pictures. As for colors, I personally prefer the colors from the Xiaomi when compared to the iPhone. The iPhone does have the more saturated um, looking colors, so the colors from the Xiaomi do look a bit more natural. So realistically, you can't really go wrong with either device for the ultra wide camera. Moving on to portrait mode pictures, well here the edge detection around the subject is fairly similar from both devices. As for colors, I personally prefer the colors from the Xiaomi, they look a bit closer to reality. But then the Xiaomi does seem to have a filter over our faces more than the iPhone, so it kind of takes away the details of our faces. So I'm not sure which one is better because I personally don't like those over um, vibrant colors that the iPhone um, is using for portrait mode pictures. So for portrait mode pictures I feel that they both could have done better. Moving on to some zoom pictures, well here I've done 5 times zoom and keep in mind that neither device has a telephoto lens. So um, everything that you are seeing is basically digital zoom. So for 5 times pictures, 5 times zoom pictures, um, it um, looks like the Xiaomi does better in every single picture than the iPhone. And keep in mind the iPhone is much more expensive than um, the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Next we are moving on to pictures that I took with the main cameras on the back of the two devices and during the day of course. And all the pictures that you are seeing right now are taken on auto mode. Alright, so the first thing I've noticed is the fact that the Xiaomi is using somewhat cooler tones where the iPhone is using somewhat warmer tones in those pictures. So the pictures taken by the Xiaomi look a bit more towards blue where the pictures taken by the iPhone look a bit more um, towards yellow. But realistically the Xiaomi seems to retain the original colors better, so the colors that I was actually seeing with my own eyes. The iPhone does seem to oversaturate those pictures a bit to make them um, look a bit more vibrant, so it really comes down to your personal preference. As for picture sharpness and dynamic range in those pictures, well you can't really tell um, the difference in between the two. So even though one phone is much cheaper um, than the other one. So for daytime pictures, um, taking the main cameras, they both do really good. So I was quite surprised to see how well the Redmi Note 10 Pro does um, when compared to the iPhone 12. But what do you guys think about the daytime pictures? Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. Next we are moving on to some nighttime pictures and for the nighttime pictures the Redmi Note 10 Pro only has a night mode available for the main camera. So if you are taking pictures with the ultra wide lens you don't have a night mode available on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. But we do have a night mode available on the iPhone 12. So all the pictures that you are going to take with the ultra wide camera will be better from the iPhone 12. They are sharper, they are brighter etc. So for the ultra wide um, camera of course the iPhone 12 will do better. Now when you see the pictures that I took with the main cameras, so they both support a night mode for the main camera. Well here I have to say that I was quite surprised to see that the Redmi Note 10 Pro, which is the much cheaper device out of the two, does better than the iPhone 12 in a lot of those pictures. The pictures look a bit sharper, they are a bit brighter and they also retain the original colors better. So for the main camera I have to say that I was very very surprised to see that the Redmi Note 10 Pro does better than the iPhone 12. Very unexpected. So once again leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about the nighttime pictures that I took with the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the iPhone 12. And we are moving on to video quality and I feel that this is where you are going to see the biggest difference between the Redmi Note 10 Pro and of course the iPhone 12. Now the Redmi Note 10 Pro can record in 4K but unfortunately at that resolution it doesn't have IMI stabilization. So I had to record in 1080p at 30 frames per second where we get IMI stabilization with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So of course the iPhone can um, have IMI stabilization for 4K at 30 and 4K at 60 frames per second recordings. So overall the iPhone does better for everything um, video related. 
So I'm gonna let you guys watch a few sample recordings during the day and during the night and I will be right back. All right, we have a quick video recording with the front-facing cameras on the iPhone 12 and of course on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now the iPhone you can do 4K at 30 or 4K at 60 with the front-facing camera, where on the Xiaomi you can only do 1080p at 30 frames per second, but at least we do have image stabilization at that um, resolution. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna run for a bit, just so you can see how the image stabilization does um, while running. And I guess we're gonna walk this way for a bit. You may also hear a bit of traffic aside from my voice. So yeah, this is how recording with the front-facing cameras on these two devices would look like. <sighs> All right, we have a quick video recording um, with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro and of course the iPhone 12. Now, with the Xiaomi, the maximum recording resolution that you can do is 4K at 30 frames per second. Unfortunately, at that resolution, we don't get any stabilization. With the iPhone, we can also record in 4K at 30 or 4K at 60, but you do get any stabilization at those um, resolutions. So, for that reason, I'm only doing 1080p at 30 frames per second with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Because um, if the video is shaky, it doesn't look that um, great. So, yeah, this is how recording with the main cameras. Um, the back of these two devices would look like i'm walking slowly here and um, they're probably gonna hear a bit of wind and maybe some uh, traffic aside from my voice so yeah main camera on the iphone 12 and uh, the Xiaomi Redmi note 10 pro and 4k with the iphone and 1080p with uh, the xiaomi and we're moving on to a quick recording with the ultra-wide cameras um, on the back of the two devices. So the iPhone 12 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 um, Pro. Once again, um, here I'm recording in 1080p at 30 frames per second with the Xiaomi and 4K um, with the iPhone. Because if I record at a higher resolution with the Redmi Note 10 Pro, then we don't get uh, image stabilization. I'm just gonna walk this way for a bit so you can see how the image stabilization does while walking. We're gonna stop somewhere around here. We're gonna pan left slowly. And back right. So we'll walk towards the sun basically. So yeah, this is how a recording with the ultra wide lenses on the back of these two devices would look like. Alright, we have a quick recording between the iPhone 12 and of course the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. For this recording I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 1080p at 30 frames per second. As I said earlier, I could record in 4K with the Xiaomi, but at that resolution we don't have any stabilization. So I decided to record in 1080p instead. So I'm just gonna stop here, we're gonna pan left slowly. And here I can definitely see a bit more on the screen of the iPhone. And we'll keep going and I'm gonna walk this way for a bit just so you can see how the image stabilization um, looks while walking um, in low light basically. So yeah, 1080p at 30 frames per second with the main cameras on the back of these two devices. I also wanted to show you how a recording with the ultra wide cameras um, would look like if you are recording in low light. So once again, I have the iPhone 12 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 um, Pro. For this recording, once again, we are doing um, 1080p at 30 frames per second. And as I said, we are recording with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices. We'll stop here for a bit. We'll pan left a bit. and back right so yeah this whole recording with the ultra wide lens would look like and we are moving on to selfies well here um, once again taking in consideration the price difference in between the two i feel that the redmi note 10 pro doesn't do that bad compared to the iphone sure the daytime selfies are a bit better from um, the iphone even though i'm not a big fan of that color that the iphone um, kind of puts over my face so I feel that the Redmi Note 10 Pro does a bit better um, color-wise. As for nighttime selfies, well, none of them does that um, amazing. 
So overall, for the price, the Redmi Note 10 Pro does extremely well. I was actually very impressed by the nighttime pictures using a night mode with the main camera on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I was not expecting it to actually be better than the iPhone 12, which is much more um, expensive. So what do you guys think about the Redmi Note 10 Pro and uh, the camera on the back of it? Definitely leave a comment and let me know. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.